Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to the best weapon banner that Genshin Impact has ever seen. The Staff of Homa and the Aqua Simulacra. Unfortunately, it is timed at the same time as Hutao's rerun, Yelan and probably Dea next patch. So your Primo Gems are in an absolute shortage. So should you pull on this weapon banner or not? Let's talk about that in this video today. So before I cover the individual weapons, let's talk about if you should pull on the weapon banner or just go for characters instead. Well for Hutao's case, the Staff of Homa is a much more significant damage increase than getting her first constellation. But her first constellation is a big gameplay increase, as your gameplay becomes more fun, you can generally zip around the map a bit quicker, and you don't have to jump cancel. You also still get a damage increase from her gameplay, but it isn't as much as Staff of Homa, as the weapon is absolutely best. Next to that, Staff of Homa can of course be slotted on almost any other polearm damage dealer, just because its stats are so high, making it a very good weapon to pull. So in my case, I would pull Staff of Homa over C1 Hutao. In case of Yelan, a very similar story. You get a much bigger damage increase from getting the Aqua Simulacra than getting her first constellation. So I would prioritize the Aqua Simulacra, especially because the first constellation doesn't improve Yelan's gameplay that much. It's very nice to have. But it's definitely not necessary. And just like Hoba, Aqua fits on a very large spectrum of characters. So let's talk about the second topic. This banner is incredibly universal. Both of these weapons are top of their class. A.K.A. some of the best bows and pole arms there are available. The Aqua Simulacra is best in slot for Yelan. But goes on a lot of different bow damage dealers. You can make a Yoimiya or a Tortaglia. Very happy with the Aqua Simulacra. And I honestly think if you are trying to build, for instance, Hutao and Tartaglia, this weapon banner is still insane for you, as the Aqua Simulacra slots super well on him. Same with Staff of Homa. It's best on Hutao, but it goes on so many pole arm characters. It's great on Zhongli, it's great on the Raiden Shogun, it's great on Zhao. These weapons are incredibly universal. So let's go over them, starting with the Staff of Homa. So the Staff of Homa, it gives you an absolute gargantuan amount of attack and crit damage. And next to that increases your HP by 20%, which is very convenient. Next to that you get an attack bonus depending on how much max HP you have. And if you're lower than 50%, you gain more attack. It's made for Hutao, but any character can kind of use this as any character has some max HP. And thus they get some of this attack bonus in. So it is great on any pole arm damage dealer. It's good on the Raiden, it's good on Zhongli, especially because of the HP increase on Zhongli. It's good on Zhao, especially because he also does enjoy sitting at low HP. But it is absolutely best in slot for Hutao, and it is an incredibly large damage increase for Hutao. For Hutao, your damage spikes up an absolute ton. So if you really want an upgrade for your Hutao, this weapon is it. But you can also get the Aqua Simulacra, which is just as good. It is by far the best weapon to get on Yelan. And next to that, it is great on any bow damage dealer. It gives you even more crit damage than the Staff of Homa, with a reduced amount of attack. And increases your HP. When you are close to opponents, your weapon damage is increased. And I think... Only like a far standing gun you would not be able to use this passive effect. Meaning that this passive is basically always active. The HP increase effect is only really good for Yelan. But this weapon has such high stats. You can basically slot it on almost any bow damage dealer. And it will provide great results. And thus what have we got? We got a weapon banner with two of the best weapons for that class. Where the Staff of Homa is probably one of if not the best pole arm. And the Aqua Simulacra is definitely up there on the best bows. Why are they so good? You can slot them on a very wide array of different characters. So a, the Aqua Simulacra at Homa, you can slot them on almost any damage dealer. Not just their respective characters. So if you're pulling for Homa, but you get Aqua, you can almost certainly upgrade another of your bow characters with it. And in reverse. So the universability, 10 out of 10. Next to that, for their respective characters, the upgrade is massive because of the hp passive and very strong passive so all in all if you have the leftover primo gems and you already own the characters that you want because i would still prioritize obtaining a new character over obtaining these weapons then i will say this weapon banner is one of the best and you will be missing out if you do not at least spend some primo gems on it but I would still prioritize new characters over it. So you already got Hutao and Jelan. And 
You will have a plentiful amount saved up for Dea if you would like her. Then I will pull on this weapon banner 100%. I hope this advice was helpful and I wish you a very pleasant rest of your day.